Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video talking about the civil unrest in Nigeria and how Tiwa Savage, an artist, a Nigerian artist, called out Beyonce on social media and asked Beyonce to use her platform to draw attention to it and help in some way just as Nigerians and the rest of the world helped with the BLM. By the way, Tiwa Savage was one of the artists that was featured on Beyonce's album, Black is King. Beyonce featured a lot of Nigerian artists and, you know, producers, singers, etc. And Tiwa Savage was one of them. And it appears she does keep in contact with Beyonce's team. Tua Savage also called out a lot of people, a lot of companies, um, a lot of big brands, not just Beyonce. And I talked about how nobody liked to be called out on social media and how it makes them lash out and react negatively. Well, a few days ago, Tina Knowles, Beyonce's mother, lashed out because uh, Beyonce was getting uh, backlash for not responding to what was happening in Nigeria, for not saying anything about it. And you know, people went after her, you know how the social media does, rather than just talk, they attack constantly. So they were attacking Beyonce. There was a lot of people defending her, but there were people calling her out for using Nigeria for her projects, but not you know, talking about what they were going through. Well, Tina Knowles lashed back, uh, defending Beyonce, and she had a lot to say. She typed something very, very long, and I'm going to go through it and, you know, talk about some of the points that she brought up and basically just talk a little bit about what I think of all of this. So Tina Knowles' long deleted post on social media says she makes a record and uses all African artists, producers, and writers. She is criticized because she didn't get artists from every country in Africa. There are 52 countries. Then she makes a film that, by the way, she doesn't profit a penny off of because she spent every penny in the budget on making something that celebrates our heritage. What profiting off of you did she do? She made art. She's an artist. This is what artists do. She's not your political leader and not your whipping board. And then she goes on to type someone that was on the last project, who, by the way, is in constant contact with her team, decided that instead of contacting her team and asking her to post to assist in spreading the word, I am appalled that they would get on social media and do it. Why not ask the people you're dealing with all the time on her team? I don't understand that. I am sure at the time she was not thinking straight because of the trauma that the country was facing, but come on. So that was what she said. Now, I think that the first post that I read was directed towards Nigerians, and the second post was directed towards Tiwa Savage. The reason why I think the first post was directed towards Nigerians is because she said, what profit off of you did she do? Because some people were saying that Beyonce profit, profited off of the Af Nigerian culture, but she wasn't helping. So it sounds like that post was directed towards Nigerians in general. The second post where she was talking about the artist that worked in uh, Beyonce's project, Black is King, uh, was clearly directed towards Tiwa Savage because she was the one who, you know, called out Beyonce on social media. The first thing that struck me about uh, Tina Knowles' response is the fact that she had a lot to say to Nigerians for calling out Beyonce. Now, people call out Beyonce all the time. They say negative things about her husband. They say negative things about Beyonce herself, about Beyonce's looks, sometimes even Beyonce's art. 
They say negative things about Beyonce's kids. They say negative things about Solange. They've been talking about Beyonce and by they, I mean social media here in the US. They talk a lot. They've been talking for a long time. Miss Tina Knowles has never ever had this much to say to the media that criticized Beyonce here. I am surprised that she had this much to say to Nigerians that are going through the worst possible time right now. And it seemed as though she was really upset about, you know, them criticizing Beyonce for not, you know, saying anything. I am not surprised that she would be this um, fed up with Beyonce's, Beyonce being criticized because it's possible that Beyonce is going through a lot right now and that was why she did not, you know, she was not aware of what was going on and she did not comment. It's possible she was going through some health issues. You know, when you have a schedule that is as busy as these artists do, it can take a toll on you and you can have some issues from stress to, you know, more complicated health issues. Who knows what health issues Beyonce deals with? It's possible she has some health issues that she's never talked about and maybe someone in a member of the family was having some problems. Maybe they were having marital problems, she and Jay-Z. So it's possible that she was going through a lot and there was a lot going on in their household. However, I still wanted to point out that Miss Knowles had a lot to say to Nigerians that she doesn't really have to say to other people. I can absolutely understand Tina Knowles' frustration with, you know, people criticizing Beyonce. However, as far as saying that Beyonce uh, profited nothing from the work, her album Black is King, uh, or profited nothing from the fact that she used African artists, that could not be further from the truth. A person does not have to get money from a project to profit from the project. She profited a lot by associating herself that closely with that many Nigerian artists and Nigerian culture in general. This is almost like saying, for instance, when um, actors make a movie and then they go to Oprah or um, a popular TV show to promote their their movies just because they're not paid for going there it that's like saying they didn't profit anything because they didn't get money from it no they profited a lot they profited a, a lot more attention they profited a lot of positive um opinions about their arts they profited positive um like the the fact that people now associate them with that particular network that's a profit that, that is the same thing that Beyonce profited from working with Nigerian artists. She gained the fact that she is now closely associated with an African country, something she wasn't, um, she wasn't viewed that way before. She profited a, a more positive opinion of her as far as being in association with her heritage. She profited, she profited a lot. If something gives, creates a good impression of you and your brand, that is a huge profit. That is a bigger profit than money because that is what brings you the most money. It brings you the most respect. It brings you more prestige. So yes, she profited a lot. Um, and Tina Knowles saying that Beyonce is not a political leader and she should not be called out to, you know, support these kinds of things. Well, that was not the sentiment during BLM, though. During BLM, everybody thought that uh, everyone should be in on this and actors, artists. As a matter of fact, here in the U.S., most of the people that draw the most attention to a matter are creators, um, artists, and, you know, not necessarily the black political leaders. How many do we have anyway? So it is the artists that have you know, they have the most power to draw the most attention. And literally all of this could have just been solved by a simple tweet, a simple hashtag. But, you know, a thing isn't a thing 
until you make it a thing. Because of she's lashed out to Nigerians at a time, at this worst possible time where they're literally being killed, she has made this into this whole nasty negative thing, even though Tiwa Savage did not criticize Beyonce. She was calling out for help. She was literally calling out for help to a lot of people. So uh, this is just very strange to me. This backlash from Tina Knowles. Okay, so let's talk about what Tina Knowles said um, to Tiwa Savage herself. Tina Knowles was basically angry that Tiwa Savage would, you know, call out Beyonce on social media. That was basically her main issue. I do not agree that people should be called on social media. I can't say that enough times, but you know, it has happened. And here's the thing, considering what the country was going through at the time, which if you don't know, by the way, they were protesting. It was a peaceful protest. It was not like a destructive thing. And then just as it happened here where the police were called and were, you know, shooting rubber bullets at the protesters, directly at protesters, there it was the same thing, except it wasn't rubber bullets. It was this, it was regular bullets, like real bullets. So when something like that is happening to your people, you're not exactly in the perfect frame of mind to conduct yourself in the appropriate way. Your first thing is to call out immediately and to as many people as possible. Tiwa Savage called out a lot of people in her video, as I mentioned earlier. Now, if she was, if she were to call everyone on the phone, do you know how long she's going to be on the phone calling everyone? She's going to be on the phone for a long time calling people's teams and calling brands looking for which phone number to call. She's probably going to be directed to someone else because the person she calls doesn't handle so and so. So she makes a video just, she was clearly very distraught in the video. You could see it. I don't know if Tina Knowles did not watch the whole video and did not see that she actually, Tiwa Savage actually called out a lot of brands, not just her daughter's brand. But a thing isn't a thing until you make it a thing. And none of the other brands CEO's mothers came on social media to criticize Tiwa Savage. They simply put stuff on their platform and, you know, people understand when someone is going through a very difficult time like that, that has to do with loss of lives and you act irrationally, normally people understand that, well, this person isn't quite, you know, they're going through a lot right now and, you know, they're going to act irrationally. But um, Tina Knowles was not having it, didn't care. And she posted it. It was very harsh. It sounded very harsh to me. Like imagine saying that to someone who is like mourning the loss of her people and just imagine standing in front of them and saying that and how harsh it would be. It, it sounded very harsh to me. And yeah, so that was basically what Tina No said. She said she, um, Tiwa Savage should have reached out to her, t to Beyonce's team. And I do agree. Tiwa Savage should have reached out to Beyonce's team. And another thing, though, is that I, I don't understand why Beyonce has to be, um, like, I feel like there should be people on her team, say her assistant, that's able to take the initiative to remind her on certain things. She's not a political leader. However, if you just finished a project with a group of people that are going through stuff and it's, all you have to do is tweet something, I feel like there are people that are in charge of a social media that should have brought it to her knowledge. You know, I don't understand why Beyonce has to be up and about and just be on hand about every little thing, because that's just not possible when you have a lot of other things to worry about. So why why is her team not did not take the initiative to make this tweet? Because quite frankly, speaking out about something like this is it looks good on brands, okay? A lot of the brands that help out don't help out because they actually care. They help out because it makes their brand look good. It makes their brand um, seem more human. And it would have helped Beyonce's brand a lot as well if she had said something, which 
which is why I think that one of her assistants should have said something to her and just reminded her or whoever's in charge of her social media should have tweeted something about this or, you know, posted and made an Instagram post or something about this, just as she was probably prompted to make the video on George Floyd. But, um, you know, people handle their affairs the way they want to handle their affairs. So this is all just very crazy. Like all of this backlash, you know, for something that wasn't even a critique. It was a call for help. Like Tiwa Savage was calling for help. She wasn't criticizing Beyonce for not speaking out. She was asking Beyonce for help just as she asked apple and amazon and icloud or, or and everyone else but um yeah this is basically as messy as it has got beyonce's team finally ended up putting up a positive post regarding the matter tina Knowles took down her criticism and yeah it's all just like when people have to ask you to help then it just kind of like leaves a bad taste in everyone's mouth but anyway that's all I have for this video. Sometimes some things are just a misunderstanding. It's possible that Tina Knowles post, made her post before she watched all of uh, Tiwa Savage's video. If you had watched the only thing that was posted on Shade Room, it would seem as if Tiwa Savage was just calling out Beyonce, but she called out a lot of people and it wasn't a call out per se, it was just her asking for help. That's all I have on this. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, see you in my next one. Bye, guys.